smokes. And it's off. Now Ben, what are you doing? I'm trying to put this oil return on, the turbo on, because I can't bother to take that off. And it's raining, so it's pushing my patience. Well, it's not going to plan, it's absolutely chucking it down. Ben's trying to get his turbo on. If you wonder what it's like to live in Great Britain. Yeah, this. It's this. You try and do something and it rings. Get this little screw out of here. I wind it in too much. It's still hard to get out. Right, Ben. I don't think that's as smooth as it could be. Yeah, so we can see. I don't even know if this is a push or a pull type clutch. Push, I imagine. Or it pulls it away. Dunno. Don't know which bit they mention. I think that is picking up off there because I don't think the engine sits on that. I'm pretty sure that's what the jack's for. Let's do that. Let's check that again. about working on the car today. Yeah, lovely. As you see, car's behind me, I've done the easy stuff. Let's have a look at that. And then uh, down pipes go on. Nice three inch straight through. Um, what else we got? So intercooler, intercooler, let's have a look at that. Just an update on where we are. That pipe definitely don't fit. I have to cut it there, buy another extension, bring that bit further forwards. Around here, that probably will fit together. Nightmare at the back, had to move both heater hoses to one side of your, uh, of that pitch mount. And then, we've got this problem. Comes there, I need it that low. I don't know what we're gonna do. I'm hoping if I cut there, I might have to lower it down some. We'll see. I haven't even had to cut this front bar much. Just take a piece out of there, cut that elbow down. I have to cut them off. They, they took me a while to figure out what was stopping them. This bottle come back on.
with the front mounting position not as high as I'd like it to be to be honest it's a little bit lower than the splitter the splitter sits here mm, we'll see um, I've had to cut this piece this is one from the side um, obviously the legacy is longer than the Impreza so it makes sense that the two that reach towards the front I've had to cut that being one of them that will go on there this one's fine just up under there it, it depends whether you've got your radiator on or not uh, or your second fan but this won't go back in position uh, we'll figure out how to do that show you where we're going up there this is why this coolant res won't fit because that if I can get it away from the engine and then we we'll set to cut that one that extends this elbow to here I know the internet will appreciate this I uh, measured this twice taped up the bit I wanted to cut cut it and then cut the wrong side of the tape so I'm that much too short so I've got to weld this piece back on now Bit of an update. I'm I'm desperate here. I've spent three days on it looking at this issue, and um, someone off the owners' club, uh, Ben. Thanks, for, thanks for this, mate. Has said test the earth pin grounds. So I've tested four of them on two different plugs. One of them, pin 24 for me, on the blue plug, um, doesn't come out of anything. It's, there's no ground to it. I don't know where the ECU ground is. Uh, as in, I don't know where the loom goes, but testing it, nothing. I'm going to run a new cable to it, to this ground, and I please, please fix the problems with this. I've sorted out the ECU uh, earth issue. I don't know if that's sorted it. I don't know if it'll start. This is this is the first start, and um, well, <laughs> it's been a long time coming, I, and I hope. Now I have cranked it over, I have cranked it over and I know it cranks. Fuel pump's on, that's good. Come on. Oh. Oh, oh it runs badly. And it smokes. And it's off. <sighs> One weird earth. Tighten it down. Don't don't seem to run it very nicely though. I'm gonna have to keep looking. Well, it's raining. I couldn't be up here. It's smoky, but who cares? It's also not been ran since April. Sounds sweet as anything. Lovely. I'm so pleased. I'm so pleased with that. Oh, me. Right, let's get this bumper built back up. Looking around the car, I've just figured out why it's been running so badly. And I really annoy myself, but out of interest this, I'll show you. There is an earth under here. The sensors are that one. Let me finger and stop. That one there. And I've used a bolt that was I've used a bolt that was three mil too thick, but too thin or too long yeah uh, so it wasn't earth properly that was it so annoyed 